Coming up. I think I'm good at this. Nepalese nachos for sure. Welcome to the vlog. Today we're going to be trying to burn some wood and make art. <laughs> art? <laughs> One of us will be making art. Uh, the other person will just be burning some wood. <laughs> we're here in Estes Park today and it's actually our anniversary. So for the past few years, Adam has been the most amazing person ever by looking for fun things to do on our, on our anniversary, <laughs> such as... Uh, we've done Italian cooking classes, ramen, sushi, done glass blowing. And we did burlesque one year because oh, yeah. it was on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to be doing something called pyrography at the Inspired Art Experience, which is about a block up here from right now. We're going to walk over there and burn some wood. Yeah, so a little bit about pyrography. It's basically you're drawing a design into a piece of wood and you're doing some shading as well with like high temperature devices. Yeah. Never done it before, but I've seen it. So I'm very, really, really excited to try this new methodology of making art. Yeah, you ready? Yeah, let's, let's go. go. So the cool thing about today's class is that the artwork that we're gonna be making is Rocky Mountain uh, landscape and wildlife featured. And we're gonna be making four pieces that we can then display in our house. So let's go. So the cool part about this place is I'll share a photo with you here on how they give commissions to artists. But the other thing is that they're all Colorado based artists. So if you're in SS Park, make sure that you stop by at this cute little art gallery. Super excited to do this class. We just learned that we were the only ones doing this wood burning class. So I'm really excited. So Natalie just gave us the instructions on how to burn wood. So I think I'm gonna go with, I guess a seasonal theme at this point. I feel like I'm doing a very Colorado theme also with. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Yeah. The first part of the process is to stamp the wood with a design. Let me just try my first one. Next, use the tool, which is a soldering iron to trace over the image. This is so much fun. I'm working on a snowflake right now. <laughs> Here's my trial piece though. It's good. Good. Awesome. Draw a line. Cool. You drew yeah, a line. Draw a line. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely funny. I definitely noticed I have to like let the tool warm up again. Because as you stroke it, kind of like my flat iron. Yeah. You have to like give it a moment to like reheat itself up because then it gets almost like too cool to make. Oh yeah, make the lines. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm good at this. <laughs> I'm not done. I'm just waiting for the bottom half to cool so I can do the top half and make it look cool. That looks amazing. I'm putting a border on it. Jeez. It's like her first time and she's already crushing it. <laughs> this is my tester piece. <laughs> While Anna decides to freehand her pieces, I'm using a stamp. That is what it looks like with the outline. Let's go back to burning some wood. I'm having a little too much fun with this. That was my tester. Crazy. <laughs> if it's art related, she's gonna crush it. It's a flower. I'm making the little pollen-y things. In the center, you know? Yeah. I'm going to work on the last piece for today, which I think is gonna make it come together nicely. Ta-da! We are almost done. We just have to put the little posty posts on our little thing. Our little bean things. And then we'll be all done. And it's just picking out the little little beads that goes in between them. Well, we should definitely hang this in our office. That'd be cute. You know, like the Anna D and Adam office. Oh yeah. Well, I kind of I was hoping to get a third little heart in there, but I guess not. Two. Three. This is the sample reference. I know. That's ours. <laughs> Hey, I'm proud of it. <laughs> uh, me too. <laughs> I think it turned out really lovely. I also think it turned out very lovely. I'm very impressed with the design and the final product. I'm very, very surprised and pleasantly pleased. Definitely gonna be ready for lunch. Oh yeah, me too. Ooh. Yes. Nice. Yes. Nice. Yeah, nice Cute. display job. Yeah. No, I love that this is 
they're narrow, you can stick them in kind yeah. of the smaller spots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. by the light switch. No, I'll come in like something like this, I assume. Yeah. There we go. I love it. Yeah. It looks so good. It's amazing, and we created it. In our home office now. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're just leaving the Inspired Art Market Studio. I butchered the name because I can't remember because I'm hungry. But big thank you to Natalie for a great class. I honestly like that more than I thought I was going to enjoy it. I, I thought I was going to enjoy it, but I actually really enjoyed it. Yeah, so we're going to go and find a place that she recommended. Let's go. We have found our spot. We're going right here. You would think that we only like one type of food, but everybody keeps recommending <laughs> the same type of food and every time we go and every town we go. So we just keep going to the same type of food. Yep. So we're at the Himalayan. Himalayan curry and kebab. Mm -hmm. And it was highly recommended by Natalie, who was our wood burning Sherpa. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> love it. Yeah, I would love the masala chai tea. And can we get the um, chopped samosa to start? Sure. Thank you. Look at that steam. Thank you. Oh my god, that looks incredible. Wow. Yeah, it's like Nepalese nachos, dude. I'm serious. It's like they smash the samosas and then put all the toppings on it. Nepalese nachos for sure. They're delicious. The freshness of the cilantro, tomatoes, and onions with the fried samosas. Delicious. You have to try it. You ready? That is so good. It's got tomatoes. It's got some like crunchy stuff on top. Has, yes, it's nachos, but it's so good. It's so crispy. It's perfect. That was obviously terrible. Oh, it's coming. It's here. Oh, is it? Yeah. Wow, that's fast. Awesome. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. This is so much food. We're gonna have leftovers for tomorrow. It's gonna be so good. It's delicious. It came out really fast, too. Smells so fragrant. Can't wait. It's almost like too pretty to touch. This is really good. Yeah. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. I just, just got you know, spices everywhere, and it's just savory and sweet, and it's got texture. I'm so excited. That's amazing. <laughs> Can't wait to dig into that one. All right, try yours. Okay. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Like, it's been I need two bites. <laughs> yeah, I need. So good, he had to try it twice. Wow. That's like a really, really good. It's like it's thick, but it's like it's thin also, and you taste. It has this really good flavor to it. I can't wait to dive into the meat. I just taste like the broth of it, but it's delicious. Wow. Definitely won't need that on a cold day. I know it's perfect for today. Yeah. I gotta eat some now. Oh. We finished it. Ooh, so full. Oof. Oof. We are leaving significantly more full than when we entered. Uh, about to pop, actually. But that was so freaking delicious. Yeah. So I just want to say a huge thank you to Ali, who was our server today. He was just the sweetest guy ever. Oh, yeah. And the minute we said we were on YouTube, they gave us free dessert, which was totally <laughs> unnecessary because we were going to rave about how delicious you guys were, as it was. But now it's like extra delicious because we got dessert. Oh, yeah. And extra stuff. Uh, this is like some kind of like sorbet ice cream dessert. We're about to try it and yeah. see how it tastes. It's like that coconut on top. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> this is a two-handed operation. Well, it's cut up. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. Wow. It's definitely got coconut in there. I can't taste the other flavor. I know, I'm sure you could probably identify the other flavor, but it's really good. Hold on, let's pause so Anna can tell you what that flavor is. It's like the chai that I had with 
It's almost like it has mango in it too. Or some sort of fruit. It's like, it's interesting. But delicious. That's what I was saying. It's interesting but delicious. I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's really good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk around Estes, we're gonna give you a walking tour, and then we're gonna wind up at Lake Estes by the end of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Those are some cookies. That's a <laughs> We can do some old timey portraits. <laughs> oh my God, look at the dog. Where? Give me that dog. Oh my gosh. Bet you would never do that. No, she wouldn't, but it's cute. <laughs> Bet you would look so cute with a little scarf on. This was another place that Natalie recommended to us for lunch if you wanted to was the Sandwich Mafia. She said she comes here periodically. We asked her, hey, if you were to go to lunch right now, where would you go? She said the Sandwich Mafia. So if you're here, maybe check it out. We don't know, we've never been there before though. How cool! Wow, they like screen print them right on the spot. All right, so behind me, as we're walking, is the Taffy Shop, which was established in 1935, and it's still in the same building it was opened at. Let's go check it out. Katie and Jessica, I hope you like your taffy. Uh, let's keep on moseying on. So as we walk around, Estes Park was named after William Byers, the founding editor of Rocky Mountain News. He wanted to honor the first Anglo residents, the permanent residents that moved here. Their last name was Estes. Don't disagree. <laughs> he found wildlife. I don't think that's what they make noise. <laughs> you sure? I don't think that's how they sound. In my world, they do. <laughs> the time travel machine is currently broken. This area was founded in 1859 and sits at 7,522 feet. Okay, enough with the facts. We are going to jump back in the car and take you over to Lake Estes. We'll wrap up the video there. This is our final stop for the day. Exactly, we are here at Lake Estes, which features a 3.75 mile path around the lake. They have fishing, paddle boarding, kayaking, and boating here. Obviously right now it's a little cold, so I think it's just a summertime activity. Oh yeah. Lake Estes is held up by the 70 foot tall dam called Olympus Dam, and it was built to provide fresh drinking water to the you know city of Estes Park. The water flows from Mary's Lake into the power plant and then into Lake Estes. Now before you go, there is a parking fee to be here. So we are gonna go ahead and head out. Yep, if you like this video, please, please, please hit the subscribe button and like the video. And if you're not following us, please follow us on Instagram because we post up a lot of content as we're doing it live. Exactly, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.